we back. Honey, we are back in this kitchen. Yes, yes, as promised. Thank you for coming back, sharing this good old recipe with you. Now you know what today is, right? It's cream cheese pound cake day. Yes, I promised you that last week, so this week we gonna deliver. All right, huh? Uh, just a, hey, uh -huh, uh -huh. we don't come to this page frowning. This is a happy page. You know why? I'll give you one good reason. Because this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So smile, baby, smile. Y'all ready? All right, here we go. Now the reason why I like this pound cake is quick to mix, simple, and baby, it is delicious. So we're gonna get right in, we're gonna dive right in, we're gonna get this pound cake going. You got your smell of vision on. Do you got your smell of vision on, baby? I'm trying to told you. But anyway, let's go get to the pound cake. So these are the ingredients that we're gonna be using for this cream cheese pound cake. We're gonna be using a, uh, a cup and a half of unsalted butter, soften to room temperature. Make sure it's room temperature. Don't put the cold butter in there because your cake has a, uh, it won't rise correctly if your ingredients are cold. All my ingredients are room temperature. My eggs, my uh, sour cream, and my cream cheese, and my butter. Everything's at room temperature. And also we're gonna be using uh, eight ounces, which is the full block of cream cheese, also at room temperature two cups of granulated sugar, then we need a third cup of the sour cream, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, six large eggs, please, 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 make sure that's room temperature. Don't put cold eggs in there, please, because it's, it's not gonna do right if you put your cold eggs in there. Uh, we're gonna have three cups of cake flour, and I'll show you too what I'm using as my cake flour. We have also, uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and an eighth teaspoon of salt. So these are the ingredients that we're gonna be using for this cream cheese pound cake. Okay, babies, y'all ready? All right, here we go. Okay, now first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray our pan. I, I love to use this. This is my baby's joy to spray my pan with. Just give it a shake. And just make sure your pan is coated. Get all up in the creases. You usually don't take that much. And we'll be, we'll be just about ready. All right. Get our coated pan. Baby, the goodness that's gonna go up in there, honey. Ooh, I wish I had smell of vision, baby. Now that we have the pan coated, we're gonna start mixing up, get that ingredient up in there. We're gonna start mixing our ingredients. All right, come on, let's come on in the kitchen. And now the first thing we're gonna do is our butter. Our butter, we're gonna use three sticks, which is a cup and a half of butter. Okay, babies, let me tell you something about the butter, okay? True story, I'm at work one day. Little prissy baby comes telling me, she comes up to me. Miss Monique. I'm like, yes, sugar. She said, do you know the grocery store got butter on sale? I'm like, what? Because you know butter is high, so I don't play with my butter. You got a sale, thank you for telling me. How much is the butter? Precious baby done told me, 68 cents. I said, mm-mm. Sweetheart, that's not butter. That's margarine. Then she asked me, well, what's the difference? Ooh, now see, this is where Big Mama come in. You know, we gotta have Big Mama back in the picture to teach the babies the difference between butter and margarine. So we gonna use, don't you laugh at her, stop. Put George on you, stop, stop. Don't laugh at her, the baby didn't know. The baby didn't know. But anyway, we gonna put our three sticks of butter in here and we're gonna start mixing it up to it's creamy, okay? Room temperature, you guys, room temperature. 
saying, yeah, that's 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 just the way it's supposed to be. Get all that goodness, but it's not but it's not cheap, baby. So you make sure you get all your all you're gonna get. Okay. See how soft it is? I mean it's good, it's that good room temperature for you. All your goodness, get all your goodness. It's good like that. Everything is getting the way it's supposed to. But it's just about there. See how soft and creamy that is? Oh, honey, this is going to be good. That's straight pure butter, baby. Mm -hmm, smooth. I guess that's what they mean when they say they smooth as butter. <laughs> cheese which is uh eight ounces which is just one pack of cream cheese eight ounces okay let's get that goodness in there as my kids grandmother you say let me give it a little hope wouldn't say help for nothing let me give it a little hope <laughs> See that it is? Room temperature. Oh, that's... All right. We'll add that in. And we're going to mix it up until everything is all combined together. We'll put, mix it on hot. But it's okay. As long as we get the, me the measurements in, we're going to be all right. So I said two and a half. Let's level it off. So that's one. Y'all writing this down? Because I'm expecting y'all to... to, to, to Come back on my YouTube and let me know how you did on your, your cream cheese pound cake. Yeah, that's what we can do. <laughs> let me know how you did, how yours turned out. That's two. And then we're gonna get a half a cup. We 
which is right on the forearm and all right and that's our half a cup now if you like my mama you might put just a little bit more in there because you know vera she don't play that she likes her stuff the way she likes her stuff so we're gonna turn this on for about another minute or so and let it cream in together to get mixed up in there too. Because honey, we want we want all this cream cheese, honey. I'm gonna turn it on just a little bit. I know it's a bit on there, but that's okay. Believe me, it's gonna get in there. Come on. Lift this up for just a second because it's still a little at the top. Just want to make sure everything's in there. Down one more time. By the way, that the spatula I'm using, because my dad, George Madison Borders, <laughs> I know he watching. He like, look at my baby go, my oldest child, honey. So my spatula is named George. When it comes to my cakes. So this is Daddy George right here. Okay, so now a little bit more. Mix it just a little bit longer, not too much. We don't have too much work done. that we're gonna put in next to mix them up all up into this goodness right here we're gonna be using um, two teaspoons of vanilla and a third cup of our sour cream okay all right so let's get it done okay. so we're gonna put um this is our sour cream it's been sitting everything needs to be room temperature so this is at room temperature. So we're gonna do a third cup of sour cream. Gonna make sure all this goodness is in there. That's what Dan used to do. He used to beat it down for all the goodness to get in there. Mix this in. Oh, I know you was here. 
girl. You like, girl, if you don't get them sides scraped down. So I'm doing just that. Scraping them sides down. All right. We good? We good? Just a little bit more. See how fluffy it is? It's gonna be mighty right, mighty right, mighty right. To the next step okay babies so now our next ingredient we're going to do our eggs this recipe that i have here is called for six eggs now the key to this is we got to put one egg in at a time and we can't over mix it after the egg is in there and mixed we'll stop we'll put another egg in so we're going to do six of them one at a time here we go so we're going to grab this one goodness in there. Now do y'all know, I, I learned this from my mom. Let's go ahead and try to get it mixed up. That these eggshells can be used if you put them in water for your plants. So you gonna learn some stuff on here. Not just cooking, but everyday life. We can actually put this in water, let it sit, and water your plants with it at least once or twice, probably about twice a month. With your eggshells, baby, they're gonna be green. They're gonna be pretty. My mama has a green thumb. Let me tell you, Miss Vera know how to grow a plant. I know we're cooking, but hey, she know how to grow a plant. But yeah, you can use that. Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. We don't want to overdo it. I'll put our next egg in. This is egg number two. As long as you see it when it starts mixing up, so you still see the yellow in there, so it's not mixed completely. As soon as you see that gone, that means it's all it's in there and it's mixed because you don't want to over mix it. Room temperature eggs. One at a time. Don't put your six eggs in there and think you're gonna have your cake, baby. It's going it ain't gonna be right. It ain't gonna be right. I'm trying to tell you. So don't put that like on medium. You see how it's forming and fluffing? I mean that goodness is all in there. Turn your smell vision on. I'm trying to tell you. Call your Cox Cable Company. Call somebody. Tell them you need smell vision Because baby wants this bad boy hit the oven. Mmm. All that good. See how it's forming? Oh, yeah. Make it do what it do. All right. Next contestant. 
sit on the cream cheese cake. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. That's all good to see. Fluffy. It's thick, but it's creamy. So we're gonna keep it going because we're getting ready to add our other ingredients here in just a quick second. Okay, we'll get it just a few, few minutes more, and that's gonna be ready for our next one. On this one, we'll put it on medium. Like I said, we don't want to uh, sprayed earlier so it's ready to go it's ready for all that goodness that we put in so we're gonna go put the goodness in the pan all right now all right babies come on and here we go pan and then we're going to stick it in the oven earlier today before I, I mean we got here make sure your oven is already preheated I preheated at 325 and it's going to be in there for about an hour 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 and a half give or take a few uh, until it's done we'll know it's done by the time we stick a fork in it or a knife in it and we put that baby in there and don't nothing spring back out Ooh, baby you got you a cream cheese pound cake come on Lord mm. so we're gonna scrape our sides and make sure we distribute it evenly throughout the pan. I remember back in the day when my mama used to make things. You know how back in the day you were like, Mama, can I lick the bowl? Mama, can I lick the bowl? Y'all know y'all asked to lick that bowl. Y'all know y'all did. She said, yeah, when I get through. And it seemed like she scraped everything out before we can get to lick the bowl. And I'm like, there ain't nothing left in there. She said, well, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Honey, we found us a corner. We found us a corner, baby. It all looks good. And so, we're gonna distribute it evenly throughout the pan. Now I'm left-handed, so. Get it back in there. Oh, that goodness. See how creamy that is? It's thick, but it's creamy. So all that's gonna go in the oven here in just a quick snack second. Now I'm gonna tell you a trick that my daddy used to do. Once he put his batter in there, okay, let me get that from the side. To ensure that it didn't have a, ooh, that's gonna be a good one, y'all. To ensure that it didn't have air bubbles in it, this is what he did. I'm gonna show y'all in just, in just a quick second. He said that's how you you will find out to make sure it don't have any bubbles in there, and it's gonna cook evenly. Y'all wanna know what it is? It's something real simple. He said the only time you have to do this is twice, two times. You take your pan and beat it on the counter, baby. That's what he said too. 
I do it because he said he didn't give me a reason why he did it. He just said do it, so that's what I did. So I'm gonna uh, just kind of wipe the sides off a little bit. Just to, but all this goodness right here is about to go in this oven. And baby, when it come out, honey, get you some milk ready. Get everything you need, because this is about to go down. All right? All right, here we go. We're getting ready to put this goodness in the oven. Uh-huh, yes, Lord, come on, George. There it is. This ain't nobody but George. It ain't nobody but George. Stick it in the middle of the rack. Look at God. Uh-huh. Give me about an hour and a half, baby. We're going to have some goodness popping off in here. All right. So, yes, this is going to be our cream cheese pound cake. All right. your smell of vision on because honey that aroma that's coming from there yes oh honey it's some goodness in there yes it is made me would be proud yeah 